Howdy y'all, and welcome back to Cup of Cheer. So, pardon the ticking, but I didn't want to turn off our cuckoo clock for just this quick video that I wanted to do for you. Today is a bit of a my favorite things, as well as I am abled video. Last Christmas, I got a gift from one of my dear, dear friends, genuinely one of my best friends, uh, who I call Rockstar. And it was so unique and so sweet and thoughtful and helpful throughout this year that I wanted to share it with you. Well, I'm not giving it to you, but I did want to tell you about it. <laughs> so here it is. It is a sticker by numbers book. This is the Christmas edition because frankly, I love Christmas and she knows me. So yeah, it's called, it's from Brain Games. At least this book is. I am not, this is not a sponsored video, by the way just happens to be from Brain Games. And it's pretty neat. If you've ever done paint or pencil by number, it's very similar to that. So I'll show you some unfinished pages. So it has unfinished uh, picture in here with numbers that correlate to what you're going to get in the sticker packets. And you'll see a different number at the bottom of each page. And you'll go to the back and you'll find that number. So if this was 16, then you will go and find the page, well, sometimes pages, that have the num number 16 in circles. And then you'll look for all of the individual numbers that go along with these. So that might sound a little complicated, and it can be, but let me get to one of my finished pages because they are really quite stunning, some of them. I'm not bragging because I didn't come up with this idea or these stickers, but look at that. That is a finished product of a sticker by number page. Honestly, I don't see why, especially if you are a teen or a kid that's looking for a way to feel creative, but don't really know how to express that in other ways. I don't see why you couldn't get one of these books and put it together and possibly cut them out, put it in a frame. Grandma would love this. Um, also, as someone who has problems with my, my fingers, I actually, had an interesting situation a few weeks ago where I went to do this sign like this, which means I agree. And I realized I couldn't get my fingers to gum, come together. And that meant an issue going on with my brain and my nerves that was causing difficulty with hand-eye coordination and possibly some spatial awareness. So between doing exercises, just doing that sign over and over and over, and this thing like, you know, yeah. Um, I also went to this book and started working on these and it, in a matter of about two to three days or less, actually, honestly, after one page, I started seeing some improvement and by, by the next day or two, I was able to consistently get my fingers to meet. And that was huge for me. Um, this can be quite difficult if you're not good at putting stickers where they belong, <laughs> but I really like it. I am able to feel creative. Um, I'm able to do occupational therapy for my fingers and my brain and my nerves. Uh, and I, I feel that creative side coming out when I'm doing those exercises instead of it just feeling like an exercise. It feels fun. It feels nice. And it also feels like Maybe I could cut some of these out and put them in a frame and give them as gifts. I don't know. Um, so yes, if you're looking for something a little different that's not too difficult, like some paint or pencil by numbers can be, I highly recommend this kind of book. Um, again, this is Brain Games and this is Sticker by Numbers Christmas. They have several different kinds of uh, Sticker by Number books by Brain Games. There may be other brands that I am unaware of, but this is the one that I am doing. Personally, also a tip for you before I go, what I do, uh, ha, here we go. They have perforations. I don't know if it'll show up, but they have perforations on each of the actual pages. You can kind of see it better maybe on this side to be able to tear them out I tore my first one out before I did it and then went back to the sticker pages, which are not perforated. I frankly found that more frustrating because I needed the page to stay in place while I was trying to stick and then pull it off a little bit and stick it back in place. So 
what I chose to do is I cut the sticker pages out, even though they don't have a perforation, which that would be my one change, Brain Games or whoever is making these books, is to perforate the sticker page. Cut out the sticker pages while you're for the one that you're doing and keep the page in place while you're working on it so that it doesn't move around too much and you can pull and put it back down as you need. Um, you'll end up with a lot of these that you'll have to throw away, but you know, it, it works. You're going to have to throw them away anyways. It's just a matter of, do you want it still in the book or do you want it individually? So yeah, that's what I do. I keep this in place. I don't take it out of the book until I'm ready to do something with it. And I cut out the sticker page and then I work on it that way. So that would be my tip if you're trying to find the best way to work on these pages. Okay, so uh, that was just one of my favorite things and a little bit of I am abled. A little tip for you if you're having struggles with spatial orientation and hand-eye coordination. Sticker by numbers book, it's great. All right, from me and mine to you and yours, I hope you're having a very crafty and merry Christmas and a cup of good cheer. Bye.